up on Instagram and everything is like packed out. But I guess to me the thing about the black squares is that's a black square for 24 hours and then you're done with it and you can move on kind of. But for black yeah. people it's like our whole body is covered in a black square yeah, but, yeah. and we carry I mean, it with us everywhere we go. Square. How do I feel? Um, I feel exhausted, I feel angry, I feel upset. I feel frustrated. I feel overwhelmed with rage that things like this are still occurring across the world in the big 21st century. I have to continue to see black people from around the world brutalised by people who want to abuse their power. It was so disappointing to hear people saying they were shocked on social media. How can you be shocked about something that people have been talking about since 2013? I feel genuinely baffled as to how it is 2020 and yet us black people still need to campaign to be treated like our life matters. I think about this often, about what exactly separated me from the Michael Browns, the Kendra Jameses, the Jordan Edwards, the Tamir Races. This isn't just a single issue and it's not just about George Floyd, it's about, do you know Tamir Rice? Tamir Rice in like 2016 or something. He was 12 years old at the time when he was shot in cold blood when he was carrying a toy that the police officers believed was a gun. Right, and so it's just like it doesn't matter if you're 12 or if you're 100 because if you're black, there's always sort of this like justification for violence against you. We feel that we need protection from police and yet they're supposed to be the ones making us feel most safe and then we will forget until that hashtag, whether it's George Floyd, Ahmed Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Mark Duggan, until that dies down, and then the next hashtag trend comes along. While I can respect that non-black people are doing, that some non-black people are doing their part in trying to educate themselves about what Black Lives Matter really means, Fundamentally, my life is not a trend. Something that myself and many black people across the world need everyone to know is that we'll still be black tomorrow. This isn't a trend. It's not a trend to talk about the importance of black lives. The past few days have been heartbreaking and distressing. This has to have an impact on our mental health, constantly seeing brutalised black bodies that could easily be us if, if we were there. The youth as a collective are finally sick and tired of, you know, what's going on in the world and we are finally doing something about it. The famous words of Martin Luther King, our lives begin to end when we become silent about things that matter. Being black means to be powerful, educated, talented. Feeling the solidarity with my brothers and sisters that lets us mourn together, that lets us stand together, and lets us speak up together. Just really proud to be black at the moment. We will not rest, because if there is no justice, then there will not be any peace.